Lake Monroe's floodwaters are slowly receding, but still causing issues. The closer to the lake, the more significant the issues. For businesses on Marina Isle, they've been without electricity since two days after Ian. Rush News Dave McDaniel is live with the news they've been waiting to hear. Dave. Yes, yeah, Stuart, more than a couple of weeks they've been without power here on Marina Isle, but within the last two hours, the lights came on. And electricity means everything. Now we can get back to work, get our people back to work, and start making some good food again. It had been more than two weeks waiting for power. We love to feed people, so we're not able to do that without power. St. John's River Steak and Seafood stayed open a day or two after Ian. Then the water rose to record levels in Lake Monroe. Power was turned off because of the high water levels. Tough for restaurant employees. It's confusion for them. They don't know what's going on, where their next paycheck is coming from. Should they find another job? Should they try to stick it out? City of Sanford leadership messaged FPNL Tuesday to get the power going to Marina Isle again. We were behind an FPL truck using the temporary road leading in through the floodwaters and several power company workers were assessing how to make it happen for the businesses either without power or using generators. They're just trying to find the, the safest route to find, to find power to get to the island. But lower water levels only means lower, still just under record flooding levels. Restoring power wasn't a simple flip of a switch. Some of the transformers along Seminole Boulevard, which is a feeder for that, still remains underwater. But late in the afternoon, voila. Also, the assisted living facility evacuated two weeks ago because of concerns surrounding the temporary roadway through those floodwaters and access for emergency vehicles got a green light to bring residents back. We believe that it is safe to get back on the island. And even though the restaurant can't open right away, the open sign still works. FPNL was able to get the power back on from what I was told. It's a permanent thing, so we are super excited about that. And again, Marina Isle has several businesses that are right on the lakefront, so getting power back to this area is huge.